Hi everyone, it's Nami Kanaika from gospelthrougharts.com. It's a beautiful Monday. I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you today. God is so faithful. Today I'm going to do a little bit part of Romans chapter 6. And Romans chapter 6 will be talking about sin and how to resist sin. And how God is instructing and giving us how we can do step by step how we can resist sin. So truly, um, sin is a dethroned uh, monarch. Sin has been defeated on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross, when he rose again, sin was trampled. Sin was defeated. So we know that we always fight with Satan. Satan is our enemy who is against us. And another thing that we fight every day is the world. The world will change us. The world will give us information that will feed us into disbelief. So first we fight uh, not against flesh and blood, but we fight against the principalities of darkness that is Satan. And then we fight against the world. The world is full of sin and we fight against the world. And then we sometimes always complain that Satan is tempting us or we might complain about the world is making us fall into sin. But the third thing that makes us fall into sin is ourselves that ourselves we are part of our body our whole being is part of sin so if we are not righteous with Christ our body is the old self is sin so we are have we have a battle with our body every day it might be a battle there is um, steps that the word of God in Romans chapter 6, we can learn how to win this battle against Satan, against the world and against ourselves. So really, the first, first way we can win a battle is to reason. To reason is to know, to know what you and I are in Christ. The more that we know who we are in Christ, we can win the battle. So... It says in the word of God that uh, our knowledge, when we learn, we can make strategies to fight against the enemy's plots. So uh, it says in the word of God that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So how can we have the knowledge to reason, to know what is the right thing to do? And that is reading the word of God. When we read the word of God, we get knowledge what is sin and what how to tempt how to get away from temptation so reasoning by learning the word of god studying the word of god strategizing the parts of the word of god we can be winning the victory truly our old lifestyle has been crucified with jesus christ our old man is dead now we are raised back to life with our new body new man so jesus when he conquered death and he rose on his resurrection you and i we have been conquered death ourselves our bodies have been raised back to life whoever believes in jesus christ and by first um, understanding and knowing now what we can do is reckoning reckoning is like we know the truth but do we believe it do we say, we not only know as the head knowledge, but now we believe in our heart that Jesus died for us, that our sinful bodies have been crucified on the cross. And then the next way we can escape sin is to resist sin. It says to resist evil. Resist evil. How can you and I, we have sinful impulses. How can we resist? If we resist the enemy, the enemy will flee from you. If you resist sin, sin will flee from you. So there are practical steps how we can resist. And that is to stay away from temptation. When you know this, this thing will cause you to sin, or this person will cause you to sin, or this place will cause you to sin, stay away from that. Stay away from the times or the ways that can cause you to sin. And then cut ties from sin cut ties don't get close to sin don't get 
closer to temptation cut ties completely it is like an animal sin is like an animal in the zoo if we get closer to it we can get injured the animal can even come from the cage and pull your hair up or injure you so cut ties with sin and then foster an accountability of support of one another our brothers and sisters in Christ can support us and be accountable so we will not fall into sin. That is some steps. The word of God in Romans chapter 6, it is telling us how we can resist, how we can cut ties, how can we can flee from sin. We know that um, uh, Joseph, who we know in the Old Testament, he ran away from Potiphar's wife when he was in temptation so the lord jesus is asking us to cut ties with sin flee from sin run away from sin if you are in a situation you know that you're going to get angry you're going to speak evil or you're going to have this temptation run away from that situation and then replace it replace it with the things of God replace it with the righteousness so if you have the time extra time and you fall into sin with this extra time replace that extra time with things to do for the Lord things to do for the kingdom of God things to serve God things to fellowship with one another who believe in Christ use that time to do righteous acts righteous things so you would not have time for sin you would not have time you don't entertain sin so jesus says as we are in the borderline do not be in the borderline anymore either you be in hot or cold be in christ or be in sin so we cannot be having one foot in sin one foot in jesus but we need to move completely Remember that our old self has been dead to sin and completely reign with Christ. We might sin with our mind. We will think of bad things. We might sin with our eyes because eyes are feeding our body. We might sin with our mouth. We might get angry and speak bad of people. We might sin with our ears where we hear bad things, bad reports, negative reports that can discourage us. We might sin from all the part of our bodies. Body, we need to. We need to remember that our body has been crucified with Jesus. You and I, we can do it because Jesus says, I have overcome the world. So we can overcome Satan. We have, we have overcome Satan because of Jesus Christ. We can overcome the world from the temptations of the world. And we can overcome ourself, which is dead to sin and alive to Christ. You and I have, been, have the resurrected body that we are resurrected to Jesus Christ. And our sinful body has been crucified, has been dead to sin and buried in, in, in the ground. And it's not coming back again. I know living a Christian life is not easy. Satan is always sending darts and ourselves. We might have time that we might fall into temptation because we give, we are in the borderline, but we need to fully commit ourselves to be fully with Christ and resist and run away when Satan attacks or temptation attacks or our mind, our body, our, our, our heart, our, our eyes, our ears are tempted to sin. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. There are only a few nuggets that I can share with you today. But it is amazing to learn Romans chapter 6. Romans, the book of Romans is amazing. I hope this blessed you today. Let's pray today. Father, we come to you. God, life is not easy. But you said, Lord, that you have overcome the world. Lord, I pray that you will renew our mind. And that we will focus and give time for you so that we will not have or entertain sin anymore in our lives. Lord, protect us from the darts of the enemy. Help us to put on the armor of Christ. Stand firm, because you have won the victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I want to sing one worship song. It's called, In Christ Alone, We Can Do All Things Through Christ Who Strengthens Me. Let's sing together. In Christ alone my hope is found, 
He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest droughts and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled and striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the lap of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe. This gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid, here in the death of Christ I live. You and I have been crucified with Jesus Christ on the cross and buried on the tomb. And you and I have been resurrected with Jesus Christ with a new life. We will not go back, no turning back into the old self we were. We are living righteously. We are living in the new life that God has given you and me through Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day, everyone. May God encourage you. May God strengthen you as you walk this life. Encourage one another. Share this message with your friends and your loved ones. Encourage one another. We had a really good weekend. I didn't do much to, uh, this weekend. We went to parks and did some with the kids and um, had a wonderful Sunday yesterday. And um, um, this week is going to be busy, but God is faithful. He will help us through because he's good. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.